Hi everybody, in this video we're going to look at displacements and a displacement is uh, used to kind of tear apart an image using a different image as a, as a reference. So uh, what I'm going to do here, I have this apple and I'm going to tear it apart and I'm going to do this in Photopea because the steps are a little bit different than Photoshop. Uh, so this is the Photopedia, uh, Photopea uh, version of displacements. Uh, so here we go, I have this apple and let's see, I have some textures like this one right here. And what I need to do is I'm just going to copy this. So I'm going to select all. Or it's Command A or Control A. Command or Control C to copy. And I'm going to paste it on top of the apple here. I'm then going to bring it down below. So I'm going to lower it, the light, whoops. <laughs> I'm going to move the layer down below the background layer. So it's underneath and I'll just disappear this apple for, for just temporarily here by clicking the eyeball because I want the texture to be the same size. So I'm going to Command T on layer 1 here, which is the texture. And oh, you can't do Command T. I'm sorry. That's Shift Command T. Nope, can't do that either. Um, so let's go to Edit, Transform, Scale. And I'm just going to scale this up so that it fits and press return. Okay, I'll bring back the apple now. So I'm going to click on the apple. Actually, we got to do one last thing. With layer one, with this texture layer, I'm going to right click it and what we need to do is convert it to a smart object. So if I right click layer one, I can convert to smart object. And when you do that, you'll see this little tag that appears here. But don't worry about that. Just make it a, a smart object. Now let's get back to the apple. I could even call that apple. <clears throat> okay. And we'll call this texture. Okay, so I'm back on the apple and I'm going to come up to filter, distort, and displace. And it's going to ask me a few questions. It's going to ask me how many pixels do I want it to uh, displace. And you can see what's happening. It's actually working. It's taking that texture and displacing it into this apple. So we want more. I'm going to go to uh, somewhere around 50. Maybe I'll type that in. I'll type 50. And usually we do 50. I like to do the same amount. You don't have to, but you should go with the same amount for the horizontal and vertical. And what you can see is uh, the texture from below here is starting to infuse itself into the apple. All right, so I'll say okay, but you know what? Uh, an even better way of doing this would be to undo, and I'm going to just make a duplicate of the apple. So I can drag this to the new layer icon, so I have an apple to copy. And I'm just going to put that all the way below everything. So now I have the original apple, I have the texture in the middle that's a smart object, and this copied apple that we'll use later. So again, coming back to the apple, filter, distort, displace. We'll go 50 and 50. Okay. And then I'm going to say OK. So the reason I made this copied apple is because what I can do is, what if I wanted one side of the apple to be uh, destroyed and one side not? Well, now I can do that with my eraser here and I'm gonna make sure this is a nice large eraser that's very soft so we're gonna drop this down and the hardness we're gonna make zero so now with the soft eraser I can turn off because I don't want to see this although it's kinda of cool um, I can turn off this texture layer with the eyeball I don't want to see it and I'm gonna erase half of the apple Okay. Now you can see when we did this, we moved the image 50 by 50 pixels. So we're just going to have to move it back to fit it. You can tell it's a little bit off. So here's my move tool. And on that top layer, you can see I can move this around. And what we'll do, we'll just kind of move it into place until you get the right look. Okay. And there, that's how to displace two little techniques of displacing. Uh, an image. So good luck and give it a try.